And then you've got things like statues. I mean, let's call James Cook a racist, Winston Churchill a racist. I mean, these are just dreadful labels that are, well, not true uh, and well, not reasonable. Statues stand for things. We should be able to talk about these things. Well, the, the original um, demonstration, uh, which was peaceful originally, against what was done in Minneapolis and was legitimate, has been absolutely usurped by others who have a different agenda altogether. I mean, when you saw the boxes of stones being put down on the footpath in New York for people to throw, um, and uh, then the police had to come along and remove them, and you see the boarded-up shop fronts, this has nothing to do with the original legitimate claim. This is to do with people who want to destroy the very fabric of our society. And we really do have to fight it hard. And when we're dealing with people who want to pull down statues, I said they'll be burning books ne next. Uh, people who want to destroy music. People who are trying to say that you can't see various um, programs that have been made, um, and, and let alone the famous uh, movie Gone with the Wind. Uh, it, it's important that we stand up against it and say, no, this will not do. No, we're entitled to free speech because free speech enables you to avoid war and avoid conflict because you can have your say and, and be heard. And if there's a genuine cause, action be, can, can be taken. But if we are going to uh, bow down before these people, we are finished. So we have to find young people who do not bow the knee young people who have intelligence, young people who are learned because they are learning and understanding not only our history, but the great tomes of literature that, that uh, is part of the canon of Western civilization, and not apologize for it. Lord it. Say what's no. good about it. This is what we have to do. Yeah. If we say we're finished, we just rot from within.